Hey YouTube, how are you? You all well? Hope you're all good. Um, February, almost March, March very, very soon. Um, and what we've been up to? Been doing your exercises. Um, I've been doing some of mine. So for the past uh, month and a bit, I've been working on getting the knee bending again, getting some flexibility through there. So that's where we are at the moment. And I've been trying to get the butt muscle stronger and more active, the lower back muscle stronger and more active, and um, basically all in the name of trying to walk again. So two crutches is now pretty easy, no problems there whatsoever, bit of a catwalk. Then we go down to one crutch, one crutch on the opposite side. Do you know what, I'll be really pleased to get rid of these crutches. One of the worst things is trying to balance them and just keep falling over all over the place. One crutch to begin with, I was very kind of like putting so much weight over my good side. What you've got to do, just start to get that weight transferred. And there we are with one crutch. So where are we in terms of walking? Um, this is an impersonation of Quasimodo walking. Got my first steps. Well, third steps. Started doing this four days ago. So weight transfer, feels good. Glutes working, quads are working. To begin with, none of those muscles were engaging and everything just felt so as collapsing and also had a huge amount of pain across the actual brake site itself. Every time I put pressure on it, um, it just hurt. Just got to keep doing it. Um, if it really hurts, but you know you've got to do some of it, um, take some painkillers beforehand. Um, it'll just dumb things down a little bit and uh, you'll be able to help your uh, physio a little bit more work, a little bit, uh, physio work. Um, other things I've been doing is while I've been doing my PT sessions, my online PT sessions, because I'm not back at the gym yet. Just been sitting down. When I had the frame on, I was putting a lot of work on standing up, weight transfer, um, because I couldn't bend my knee. Now I can bend my knee. I'm spending a lot of time um, seated and just slowly trying to bring the heel further back without the heel lifting up. If the heel lifts up, it means we're still a little bit too tight. So work hard and just pressing your heels down. We need that knee over toe action because that's really important with going downstairs, upstairs, running, rowing, cycling, um, just basically getting on with life. Um, so that's what I've been doing during my online sessions and then every so often as well. I'll stand up. Um, and work on weight transfer. So as you're walking, push through one leg, glute works, lower back works, and then you transfer the weight, glute work, lower back works. And this at the moment is an exercise I need to become basic. So while I'm training or seeing as I'm in the kitchen, while I'm in the kitchen, that's what I'll do. I'll just start transferring that weight over to the broken side, making sure I'm trying to squeeze my glute muscle and push the leg down and get my lower back muscle working. An exercise which you can use to help this, and um, I was doing it when I had the frame on, was a hip uh, shift. So push down with the glute, I'm so obviously I'm doing this on my stronger side, push down with the glutes and up with the lower back, and then practice the same on the other side. Now, although you don't need this range of movement as you walk or as you run or as you do many exercises, or if any exercise, um, what you do need to do is get these muscles working together. Because if you walk around uh, your room now, put your hand on your butt, when the foot lands on the floor, that butt cheek will contract. Then you put your other foot on the floor, that butt cheek uh, will contract. Now, whichever butt cheek works, the opposite lower back muscle will work. So now what you can do is place your hand into your lower back, walk around the room again. What you'll find is as you put your left foot down, your right lower back muscle will work. And then as you put your right foot down, 
your left lower back muscle will work. So we need these stronger. So that's where the hip tilts and shifts come into it. The other thing we do, or the other thing I've been doing, is calf raises. Obviously I'm gonna be favoring my stronger side, but that's first of all okay just to get the uh, ankle on the other side, on the bad side, moving again. And the calf's still working, definitely not 50-50, but it's definitely working. Then what we can do is we can go up, shift the weight over to the bad side, and then allow the bad side to do a little bit more on the way down, the eccentric phase. Concentric, shortening of a muscle, holding is an isometric contraction, and then the lengthening of a muscle is the eccentric. And I'll just do these until it hurts. I mean, a, a good muscular pain rather than uh, an actual leg breaking pain. Uh, the other thing I've been doing while I've been doing some cooking is press down through this leg, get that butt muscle working, get this back muscle working, but trying not to allow the hip to lift up. So more of a stabilization and then just move the leg around, which in turn fires up this glute. And we just keep going. First of all, it was 10 seconds when I first broke my leg um, and I was coming into rehab. Then moved up to 30 seconds and then a minute and then all the way up to three minutes. As that got easier, I added some weights to my ankles. Uh, you can also use a band. Thing with a band is you get, um, in terms of right now for me, I get more resistance with a band, but I get greater range of movement with these. So they both have a, uh, benefits, they both have their, uh, I don't suppose there are any weaknesses really, um, but you've got to get yourself strong because whatever your weight is walking, um, or sorry, whatever your weight is on the scales is you standing still. If ever you stood on the scales and you've kind of just bounced, you've seen the weight fluctuate. And that's what happens when you walk. As soon as you walk, you push more pressure down so you can keep yourself up and propel yourself forward. That means your body weight increases. So your muscles now need to lift not only your body weight, but the additional force of moving. And then if I'm looking at carrying things, if I'm looking at um, running, so as soon as you start running, um, a minimum of three and a half times your body weight gets shocked back up your body through something called ground reaction force and you've got to be able to push yourself off and away from the ground to move yourself forward. And the more force you can do that, the further you will travel. Then you add fitness to that and then you'll get just be able to run and run and run. Um, so all these muscles need to be stronger. Um, all these muscles need to be more flexible and I'm just gonna carry on stretching. I'm gonna carry on uh, doing my resistance work that I've got. Um, I might be going back to work next week, back to the gym. So I'll have um, facilities to use there, leg presses and things like that, different array of uh, dumbbells. But all this has just been me at home uh, with my crutches, uh, a chair, some little resistance weights, 25 years of being a personal trainer. Um, and yeah, just dedication. You just gotta keep going. You're gonna get some bad days. You're gonna get some good days. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, last week I had a bit of a down uh, day because every time I put pressure through the leg, it really, really hurt on the inside. And I was a little bit tired as well because I hadn't been sleeping very well. And it just got this little negative thing in my head to say, what happens, what happens if you don't get to walk again without crutches? What happens if every time you put the foot down that pain will always be that severe, so it's best if we take it away. It was just a down moment. Three days later, the pain had completely disappeared. I did some red light therapy, and I've got a box on that. If you wanna know about red light therapy, uh, let me know in the comment section. Um, I've done that from day one. Um, and then it was a Friday, it was last Friday, and I stood up and I was doing my weight transfers, just waiting for it to hurt. And it didn't. So that's a bit strange, okay. So I then got my crutch. 
bit more weight transfer, have a crutch just in case. No, nothing like that. You just gotta be brave. So you kind of just go, okay, there we go. And you just go on from there, get stronger and stronger, uh, work hard. If you need any more information, give me a shout. Um, somebody's asked for an x-ray of my recovery. Um, I'll see if I can get that on. Um, I'm on Instagram as well, the city trainer. Um, that's in the description. Um, like the video if you like the video. If you want to see more videos, if you want more information on stuff, give me a shout. Uh, leave it in the comments. I do read them because there was only one or two. Um, subscribe, tell your friends, let people know, and anything else, just give me a shout. Uh, look after yourself, train hard, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.